Good morning everyone. Today is January the 3rd and um, the good news is it stopped raining. Um, the sky is blue with I would say about 50% fluffy clouds moving quite quickly um, at the moment. So uh, I'm hoping to do my garden tour today. Um, just going to finish drinking my coffee before we head on out. Um, and I will give you a tour of the garden. Um, also going to introduce you to the other members of the household. Hello and welcome to my garden. Um, we're going to do a little tour. Um, very much to be viewed as a bit of a blank canvas um, and definitely a work in progress. So um, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so we moved into this house two years ago um, and we've already done quite a lot to the garden. Uh, the previous owners who had the house um, were obviously very keen gardeners once upon a time, but in their older years they struggled with it and by the time we, we took ownership, um, it had slightly fallen into rack and ruin and I have to say it's probably declined ever since then hence the gardening challenge and hopefully by the end of this year there will be such a big difference um, that it will be lovely to watch um, so first of all I need to introduce you to the garden saboteurs because they are my, the loves of my life but also very annoying so this is Maisie. Um, Maisie is nine months old now um, and she's great fun. She loves digging holes. Um, she loves water. You're going to come and say hello Maisie. <laughs> um, she loves digging holes. Uh, she loves water. She loves the pond. And we also have Izzy here. She is 14 and a half years old and she just likes chilling. She just likes chilling on the lawn, soaking up some sun rays in the summer. She she likes plodding around the garden. Maisie is the little horror. Um, so, uh, yeah, watch out for all her antiques later. Right, so let's get started. So this is the kind of just outside our back door. We've got our Christmas tree here didn't actually make it inside this year. It almost died last year, um, coming inside for Christmas. So this year, we decided to leave it outside to try and get it a bit bigger for next year. And then hopefully next year, we will have a living Christmas tree that isn't on the death door. This is my fig, fig tree. Uh, love, love a good fig. Only produced one fig last year. Tasted amazing. Uh, but only produced one. So this year, as in two days ago, I repotted it into a slightly larger pot and um, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get more than one fig. I also pruned it a little bit to hopefully give it a bit more vigour. Then we've got down the side of um, this, this uh, vegetable, well not vegetable, um, flower bed, I've got a load of pear and apple trees I'm trying to espalier not sure how well that's going we'll touch base on that a bit later but we'll see we'll see how that that works out and then um, let's just have a little bit of a walk up here shall we um, so up here is an ash tree um, it's a lovely big ash tree and in the summer it's just gorgeous I have to say it's also not terribly well um, it's, I, I don't know whether it's got ash dye back or not. Um, we've decided just to leave it as is for, for just now um, and see what the summer brings it before deciding whether it needs to come down. I really hope it doesn't because I think it won't work very well. Just showing you that Maisie has just decided to pull off a branch from my vine. Um, so, as I said, garden saboteur. She's bored, she wants a walk and that's what she'll be getting after I've done the garden um, the garden tour. Right, so back to the ash tree. Um, 
Right, now down the back here, we have a gate. This is uh, to our allotment. This isn't like an official allotment. Um, outside the back of our garden, we lead onto a play park. Um, and let's just take you around. Um, and between our garden and the play park, there is a oh, about two metre wide gap. Um, which, when we first moved in, was head height in brambles, nettles, and a lot of rubbish. I mean, not a lot of rubbish, a lot of rubbish. So we have spent the last year um, clearing all of that out, and uh, the hope is that this year the allotment will be much better. So let's just have a little tour. Okay, so this is our garden. Um, this is now uh, got our compost bins. This is what I've been working on hard the last couple of uh, months because I want some compost for the summer. So we've got some compost bins, and then go down here. Um, oh, the path is a bit uneven. We have some lovely sunflowers um, last year. I've left those up because I'm told that if you leave dead stuff up, it's good for the birds. Um, just going to pause. Okay, um, I just paused it because I had a little bit of a chat with uh, one of the people in the park that was just passing by, and that's one of the reasons I love this garden, this, this allotment, is that people will come and chat to me, um, and if I'm feeling a bit lonely, a bit down, all I've got to do is come out here and I am guaranteed for someone to stop and chat, and it's just lovely. It's just lovely feeling connected to the community like this um so would highly rate joining an allotment group or starting a little um patch like this if you've got a space in your garden because it really does just open up conversations if you're feeling a little bit down a little bit lonely anyway quick whistle top stop tour further through the garden so um we've got some chard here from last year um it's been unseasonably mild this, this year, so it's still alive. Still hope to get one or two harvests out of that before the frost hits and kills it all off. A um, little bit further down, we've got my onions. I uh, planted those about three weeks ago. So they're growing nicely. I'm actually quite amazed for Wilkinson's onions. They've come up amazingly. That's not a plug for Wilkinson's, by the way. That um, not being paid for that. Okay, lovely. Um, right. Okay. And then here we have a bit of a mess. Okay. This is the the messy end of the garden. This is our um, outhouse, and uh, the plan is to have it built into um, a clinic for me um, in the garden, so I can work from home and. Uh, I haven't really touched this area of land at all um, and this is the big project for the year is to get the clinic finished um, finished building it um, it's got one window in we've got another left to do um, and then I'd like to put a greenhouse in here I need some watering there's no water out here in the outhouse at the, um, in the allotment at the moment so I'd like to put some uh, guttering along the um, along the uh, building and then get up here planted. At the moment, there's some dead cosmos plants and some milk thistle plants here. Um, that's just because last year I had a load of seed and I just couldn't stand the idea of it being completely bare, so I just flung some seed down. I've left it down because I thought, well, it's a habitat for insects over winter. But the plan is, over the next couple of days, to start clearing some of this rubbish out. There'll be a lot of rubbish underneath the ground here still. Um, this used to, on this site, used to be um, a printing works, and we had dug up a few bottles of um, ink um, and also other kind of metal paraphernalia. There's a lot of metal work in the ground here. We also dug up something that looked like a World War II bombshell um, last summer and if I can find it I will look it out and show it to you it's already blown up it wasn't dangerous it just uh, 
It was an exciting find in the garden. So, need to dig this over this, this um, next couple of months and uh, get it ready for production, which will be exciting. Right, we're going to take you back up the garden and so you can see the rest, rest of the um, rest of it. Uh, right. Oh, it slipped on the mud there. Oh, one other thing that I want to do out here, one other big project, is here is the pathway. It's all mud and at the side of the fence, it just gets full of weeds in the summer. I'd like to dig all the weeds out. I'd like to lay a brick path. So that's something else that I'm going to be working on in the coming months, hopefully. A bit concerned about the frozen ground come when it gets really cold, but we will figure that out as we go along. Okay, Koki, let's come back into the garden. So this is the back of our garden. Um, this used to be a barbecue. And it was a really nice barbecue, um, but when we it was it was all rusted and broken and stuff. We got some quotes to get it redone, and they were quoting something like a thousand pounds. It's just we don't eat barbecue that often, and it wasn't worth it. So we started knocking it down, and now it's just become a messy storage area for the pots, and I hate it. So another plan for the next couple of weeks is to sort the pots out, find a home for the pots and put them away and tidy it up and then come up with a plan to do something with this. I'm quite liking the idea of a potting shed, kind of potting area, um, but that's plans in the making. Um, that's the outhouse that has all the building work being required on it. It's, it's a mess right now in there, but um, hopefully at some point it will be fine. Right, um, right here we've got a vine. We used to have like a, um, a kind of pergola all the way across here um, and we had to take it down. It was rotting um, and also to start work on the outhouse building. So we've currently got a vine with no support and I'm hoping that once the outhouse is built we can build something back up there again um, and that we can get this trained back up um, but I can't for it I'm just going to come around here there is a tiny little courtyard in in the in this area I've got to say these seats are the most uncomfortable seats I have ever sat on and another plan this year is to change them so I can actually sit out here and not get backache so that's another plan um, this is down the side of our outhouse this is just building mess, rubbish, rubble, um, insulation. It's north facing, there's no soil, it's concrete all the way through. We've decided to build a shed over here, it's going to house my husband's business in it. So um, that is also uh, in the works, as it were, um, so you can, we'll keep you updated on how that goes. We have a lovely little pond here, just going to try and show that to you, a lovely little pond. Maisie loves this pond. She will try and jump in it at any possible chance. Um, and our job is to try and keep her out as much as possible. Um, we've got, I think we've got six fish in there. Um, they're all at the bottom of the pond at the moment, but when they resurface for the summer, I will give you, uh, give you a show of them. They're getting big. They're really growing, um, which is great. Right, this is the, um, the difficult part of the garden. So this is down the side of our house and as I said we've had a lot of building work on the house and this is where most of the disruption has happened. You see down here um, we've got uh, holes, in the, holes in the ground, it's because we had a water mains burst and then we've got some bricks, those bricks are for my pathway that I plan to build so hopefully that brick pile will start going down. Um, and then here, here is the big work in progress at the moment. This is where I've been working on the last couple of days. So I went to Wimple Hall last summer and I don't know whether any of you guys have been, but the gardens are absolutely amazing. They have really, really deep herbaceous borders and they are just stunning. And so this used to be down here, used to just be grass and then these really big bushes and there was some box box plants down here and they were um, 
they were all got by the box blight caterpillar so we've taken those out and I have started planting them up so uh, we've been I've been putting the tulips in here um, in the last couple of days and there's some snowdrops in there as well and uh, the hope is to put some trellis up along here and get some climbing plants up along and I'm hoping it's going to look amazing. I feel like we've got a long way to go, but um, it will be exciting. And uh, thank you for joining me on the journey. So I'm going to go and do my plant pod a day. Okay, um, so I have done uh, a bucket worse of gardening today. Um, I think it's important um, for anyone who's got like a illness like mine not to overdo it. So um, done my bucket for today. I'll just take you to see what I have actually achieved for today. So I have started clearing out the. Um, and a bit of patio area underneath here and more excitingly I found some plants that I didn't know I had so we've got some mint here um, which I think I might put up into the garden in a pot because mint can spread like wildfire um, in the herb garden probably tomorrow but I'm going to call it a day done my bucket for today um, and go and get a coffee and a bit of a rest so that I'm fighting fit and raring to go tomorrow. Thank you, bye.